Whipped her for helping my parents buy a house with the intent of not renewing the lease with the other tenant. So my parents currently live in a duplex house with my little brother. They rent one side, the other side is rented by a different tenant. The landlord is selling the house and the other tenant is currently the one who is most likely to buy it. My parents really want to get it, but they can't get approved due to a few different reasons, even though they could most likely afford the house. I also want to own a home sooner than later, and would like to move back to the area where literally all of my friends and family live. About a year and a half ago now I moved to a different state about 6-7 hours away depending on traffic. I'm thinking of applying for the mortgage with them, as then we could offer more than the other tenant and be approved no problem as I make almost as much as my two parents combined, and I have better credit. However if I did this, it would be with the plan that once my lease is up on my apartment, I move in with them or my grandparents for a few months. Then once the current tenant's lease is up we don't renew it and I move into the other half of the duplex. I told a friend about this plan, and they said it'd be kind of a dick move to do to the tenant currently living there. Normally I would agree that I'd be a shit person for doing this, however, the other tenant is already very well off. She owns a much more expensive house about 40 minutes away, and she only rents here so that instead of having to commute her son to the private high school we have in town, he can just walk there instead. It's not a cheap private school either, it's $72,000 a year if the student boards there. $51,000 if they only attend classes but don't live there. It's not like she couldn't easily rent elsewhere that's nearby, even if it was more expensive. That's my logic anyways, so I don't seem to really understand the problem. So, would I be the asshole for this? TLDR. I want to buy a duplex with my parents, then when the rich tenant in the other side of the house's lease is up, not renew it so that I could move into the other side. 